Okay, so um, this job here uh, was an incorrect diagnosis by someone. Uh, I was sent out with the wrong parts, and this just shows you how to uh, diagnose a system fault. Uh, but I have to apologise for the sound on this video. I got a new phone case and it made it really crackly, so I've had to overlay a lot of the sound and uh, the bits I've left in because it was just impossible to sort of redo it. I'm, it it's quite bad, so I'm sorry about that. I hope it's... Uh, it's not too bad and do watch to the end because at the end I'll show you the easy way to diagnose this fault with this particular uh, programmer. Alright, thanks. Alright, okay guys. Um, this video here is kind of... I've just arrived here. I've been sent in to replace this uh, Grumfoss pump. Um, people, people weren't sure what was wrong with this. The ladies complained of no hot water. I noticed that the timers, both lights were on the timer but the outlet of the cylinder here is tepid. It's probably just over 35 degrees. Uh, when I open this up, the boiler says the pump's running, which it isn't. Uh, press I and it says it's in S98, which means it's doing a self-check. The pump isn't running here, although it's on the display. I fill the pump with my hand and I know it's not running. There's no, there's no vibration on it. So there's still definitely a demand on there. Um, now, under this cover here, I've taken it off. Uh, I can see there's an earth wire hanging out there already. Well, I've got to check what that's for, but obviously that sh should go somewhere. Um, and I've done a little bit of testing on the cylinder stat wires. Um, so quite simply, I trace the cylinder stat cable by just grabbing it and moving it in the box to see what's what. And as you'll see, it's a... Um, brown, a blue and an earth with some red tape on it. Now all I did quite simply was one probe on neutral, the main neutral in there and then check all three of them. Only one of them had power which was the earth with the red tape which also is connected to the grey of the three port. Now that wiring with the grey of the three port should be hot water off. So the fact that I've got 240 on it tells me that nothing is telling that three port to be in hot water mode. So, a few different things here that were odd. S98 on the boiler, showing that the pump was running. Uh, tepid cylinder. Um, power on the off, when the time we had uh, both lights on for demand. So, this is how I go about testing it now. But So, first things first, I um, opened up the controls cover and... This is why we get the pump symbol without the pump running. It's quite simply not wired into the boiler. Uh, all we have in there is live neutral earth and switch. Um, so I'll follow the boiler cable across, which is that one. And guess what's not earthed? The boiler isn't earthed. So obviously I'm going to have to sort that out while I'm here. And uh, the pump obviously isn't wired into the... Uh, boiler as it should be so I should sort that out now I believe that the actual fault here um, lies with the timer uh, so I, I will, the, the way to check that electronically is to take it off and link it out and do some bits and bobs but I'm not going to wire the pump into the boiler because I'm not here to rectify installation defects as part of the contract I'm here on I won't be doing that but obviously I'll do some further investigation on this now the way I think it's wired is uh, Obviously you can see the earth goes in with the grey of the motorised valve, so that should be hot water off. Um, the brown goes in with the orange there, which dictates that that should then be hot water demand. And the blue goes in with the blue there, which should be power from the programmer. And I can tell you now, the blue going in with the blue, which is there, should have 240 on it if the program is on and it doesn't. The grey does have 240 on it and that's not coming from the cylinder stat. So it must be an issue there with the programmer causing that. So I'm guessing when we open up the programmer, the blue wire that's by itself into uh, hot water on the programmer. So I'm going to um, take the front off that programmer and just double check that. But my suspicions will be confirmed if that blue wire is hot water on then I know I'm on the right track and it is going to be that programmer. Um, but this is how you, this is how I always start. This is the easy way to check your wiring is correct. Is, uh, is use the wires you know 
you know what they should be. So use the wires from the three ports or two ports to uh, guide you on what the other wiring should be. It's the, it's the easy way to start. My finger, my finger's here. There, that blue wire there. Goes in up here to oh, number three, um, which it's almost you know this, but the blue one there, which goes into number three, is hot water on. So this wasn't sending out power when it should have been. So we've got a few issues here, but this is the one that's causing no hot water is the programmer. Um, so I don't know if you're aware of this, I'm sure most people are. What happens with these is quite odd. The relays fail in these so that if you let's say this this program as it is, you put it on the wall, if you put the heating on, it will work. You put the hot water on, it won't work. But if you turn the heating off and then put the hot water on, it will work. There's an oddity with these that if you have one on, i.e. the green lights on here and then you turn the other one on, it doesn't work. You have to turn this one off, turn that one on, and then it all springs back into life. So the fault here is gonna be this timer. Um, so I'm gonna just link it out to prove that and uh, order it up. Just put a link across there between the live and hot water on. Um, this is as it was for the moment, all of that. Can't hold that in place for now, but anyway, let's. So, if I, if this is, as I say, that this is at fault, when I turn this on, that pump should run, and it does. This boiler should be live. Temperature's dropping. It says it's running the pump. S98, maybe it's going to get stuck on S98. stuck on S98 but we've got the pump running now so I'm just going to check the voltage is coming into this I'm going to check polarity um, resistance to earth uh, earth continuity and that's odd I don't know what sensors it checks on that but it should either put up a fault code or clear that so yeah it's odd there you go, just about to check if it's cleared that boiler's working. Pumps were running. That's hot. Hot red hot. Starting to warm up. Yeah, hot, can't hold it. So, simple problem. So that's how I've diagnosed that that programmer is at four. That's just got to temperature, that's the only reason that's done that. That pipe, but like I said, that was too hot to even touch here. Oh, and it is too hot to touch. I can't hold that. Yeah, it's too hot. So um, that's it, fixed. That's all it is. Uh, shame I haven't got one in the van. There's a reason I haven't got one in the van as well. And that's because I'm getting a new van over the weekend and I've emptied my uh, current van completely out. Okay, so this is how I'm going to leave this job. I'm going to leave it linked out across there for hot water. That means the lady will have hot water. And down here in that terminal block there, in that terminal block there, that is the hot water off. Just quite simply so that the three port doesn't get the wrong signal from the program and stop. I think basically if the heating was to come on as well, uh, it would move to heating only. So I'll just pull that out, leave it safe in the terminal block tonight, and I'll come and replace this tomorrow. 
Okay, it just dawned on me, there's actually a really easy way to test these. Oh well, it's a good indication, all right? So let me try and hold this camera still, it's like quarter past seven at night and I haven't eaten properly today, so I'm a little bit shaky. Right, so, the heating's on. We put the hot water on, and now what do you usually hear from a program when you put it on? You usually hear a nice click. So let's put that on and see what happens. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, yeah, not valid, fair enough, right, you ready? Did you hear a click? Oh, I didn't hear a click. Let's turn the heating off and see if we can hear a click. I heard a click and I actually heard two clicks. That one's probably just clicked on now. So if you listen now and I turn this off, you'll hear a nice click. Turn the heating on, we'll hear a nice click. Turn the hot water on now and we probably won't hear a click. No click. The relay inside this is not switching. Nice click. That, that clicks now. So basically, for some reason, it can only power one relay at a time. So basically what's happening there, as I turn the heating off, you were hearing the, the heating relay click off, but the hot water relay click on. So if you listen carefully here, I'll put the heating on, you'll hear one click. I'll put the hot water on, you won't hear a click at all. And when I turn the heating off, you'll hear two clicks, almost simultaneous, almost together. So here we go. Nice, strong click. Nothing, practically. Now when I turn this off, you'll hear two clicks. I hope you heard. Duk, duk. Ooh, tiny click there, that might have worked that time, but that's that's a good way to tell anyway. So the hot water's disconnected now, so we can leave it off and we can leave the heating on. So that means this lady will have heating when she wants it and the hot water will just keep getting topped up until tomorrow and I come and change this.